Hey guys, and welcome to another OBS tutorial. And today we'll be looking at a different way to use OBS. It is the 5th of April, 2020. And as we all know right now, the situation is a bit of a mess. So this meant that a lot of the things we were used to such as classes we were taking and, and, you know, going for some exercise and everything. That all changed. And right now we're all looking for ways to do it from home. Luckily, we can improve this inexpensively or free if we have the stuff lying around. And we can turn the experience into a much better one. So say, for instance, you're giving a lesson. Maybe it's an instrument. Maybe it's a dance lesson. Maybe it's gym instruction. Anything. And what you're doing is turning your webcam on, on Skype, on Discord, on Facebook, anything. And you're just showing your webcam off your phone, uh, your camera off your phone, your webcam off, off your PC. And it's just one camera. What if I told you you could use OBS and everything it comes with to output as if OBS itself was a webcam? That means adding a lot of value to what you're putting out there for your students or for your meetings or anything you may imagine. So let's jump into it. So we've moved into OBS now, and this is pretty much what we had in our previous tutorials. If you've not learned how to use OBS and want to learn more about the usage and what possibilities you have on OBS, I highly encourage you to watch the previous tutorials. If you already have a basic know-how how to do stuff, this is going to be pretty simple. What we will need is an extra plugin for OBS, which is called OBS Virtual Camera. What we will do is we'll just go to Google and we'll do OBS Virtual Camera. It's right there. We'll go into Virtual Camera. Open OBS Virtual Cam. I will put the link in the description as well, but this is the plugin we want, made by a guy or a girl, could be someone called cat x fish that's the correct one we have the source code url if we need to all we need to do is press to press go download and we will get a file all we'll need to do and i won't do it right now because obs is open but what we'll need to do to that is just install it normally so it's your regular next 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 finish that's all it is on windows if you need anything else it's in the description here so you've got i believe a linux one there it is uh, but of course with Linux you have a bit more configuration to do otherwise that's fine but what will happen is and we'll go back to our OBS we will have a new option in tools which is called virtual cam when we press virtual cam what we'll get is this window apologies it open on the other screen and we'll have three options auto start and horizontal flip key pass aspect ratio I usually keep the aspect ratio because I stick to the 16 by 9, a very common uh, ratio that is, uh, I, I think, for the last over 12 years has been pretty much the standard, so we can stick with that. Horizontal flip is in the case uh, you want to flip your source. If you have any text, I would not suggest a horizontal flip at all. Please do not do it if you have text, otherwise it's going to be very difficult for people to... Uh, read the text because it will be backwards and auto start you can keep on if you plan on using obs for just that of course you can turn it off by going into tools and turning off auto start buffered frames is something we can change if we're having lag if we have a very low end system for instance i keep it at three i had really no issues any modern machine should be able to handle it at three and target camera is where we want to output our OBS. Now, let's keep it an OBS camera to test, and we can press start. When we press start, no streaming is happening, no recording is happening. If we want to record what we're outputting to our students or in our meeting, we could press the start recording button, and that will handle the recording separately. But right now, we are outputting this video into the OBS camera target. So let's say, for instance, now for now we have a flat image. There's nothing. There's just this picture of the Valletta breakwater and some text we have there. We can 
close virtual cam, I believe it still keeps it running. In fact, it does. You cannot change anything. So we could close that if we want. And what I will do is I have my Nintendo Switch connected. You'll see that it's active right now. This is so we can we can test stuff. So let me increase the size on that so we can see it a bit better. This is so you can see how you can change stuff. So you can have, say, multiple webcams, for instance. And what we will do, you see we have test one. That's correct. We can change to test one. Let's keep that. This is what's going out right now. So what I am going to do is I'm going to open Discord on my other screen because Discord... If you use Discord, it gives you an easy way to test, and it's an easy way for me to show you what's actually happening. So if you go to Discord and go into, apologies, my switch went into a bit of a power save mode. So here's my uh, my OBS settings, and what I have on uh, video settings is OBS cameras a target. As you can see, all four cameras become available there. But we tested on OBS camera. We attached to OBS camera. We'll press that. And Discord allows you to test. So if I press this video, what you can see is, okay, now this is where the flip horizontal will come handy because some software actually flips your software horizontally. It's something I just remember now with OBS. So in this case, yes, we'll go to virtual cam. We'll stop. We'll horizontal flip. We'll start. And there you go. That's the output that's going into uh, OBS right now. But what also happens is, let me see if I can hold my screen like this, actually. Oop. I'll hold it there. We'll close this window. Let's open it as far as we can. There we go. So right now you're seeing the preview on the Discord window. If I change scenes, you will see that the transition happens on my webcam as well. So if you have multiple cameras, if you're teaching something that requires multiple cameras or maybe you want to host a, a sort of show from home if you're doing maybe you know cooking could be cooking could be any sort of craft and you need multiple cameras maybe one close up and one far away you could just have them here as if you were streaming which makes any obs tutorial relevant for you so feel free to go ahead and watch the ones i have already produced and here we have a working webcam as an output it's good to keep in mind that the only thing that doesn't change is the audio. So there is no audio going out of uh, OBS right now. So even if you see the audio meters move, the audio is not going out into the virtual camera. So you'd have to reroute the audio in a different way. I'll work on that. If you know how to use voice meter, go ahead and use that. It's probably the best solution you can get for free to do your audio i will probably give it a go and um, make a comprehensive tutorial on that to go along with this video but you can test treat your audio separately if it if you need just a microphone for instance or you have you're teaching an instrument and it's already connected to a mixer you can use the mixer as the input for both your mic and your instrument if you're teaching music i think you possibly are already on that sort of uh, setup but if you're not, it's something to think about. And that's how virtual camera works on OBS. I'm sure many of you will find a use for this and it could be very helpful. If you have any queries, please leave them in the comment section. I'll see what I can do if, if there's any issue to reply. I, I make it a point to reply to most of my comments if I can. And if they're queries, I usually reply. If there is a need for me to make a video that explains other things that may be related, please let me know. I'm happy to make any video that might be helpful. There's a lot to cover on OBS. OBS is huge. And again, I will say it again. If you came to this tutorial and have not used OBS before, please have a look at some of my previous tutorials. They'll prove very helpful in getting you to where you need to be with OBS. During the next few weeks, I'll be releasing some more tutorials, which may be relevant to what's going on right now. But there are also some advanced tutorials that I want to follow up the basic ones with. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next one.